So, what do I mean by Nature's RF amplifier? Well, I'm talking about uh, operating radio over salt water and the big advantages in distance that you can achieve. I've used my local seafront to my advantage many a times. Uh, I'm a foundation license holder and limited to just 10 watts of power. With my signal passing over sea water, I often get up to four times the distance as I do over land. Here you can see me operating mobile at my uh, favourite uh, south coast location, uh, Hillhead, using a 20 metre quarter wave whip on top of my car. I will show you a small experiment in a minute, how salt water is much more conductive and less resistant than fresh water. And I will show you some uh, maps of all my contacts uh, over land from a home based data loop. And then compare that with a map of uh, the contacts made whilst operating at the seafront over salt water. And I think you'll find the results uh, fairly remarkable. So why does being by the sea, the waterfront, enhance your radio signals by up to four times compared to travelling that over a signal, the same signal over the land? Water is a conductor as we know, but not as good a conductor as you may think. For instance, fresh water is far less conductive than seawater. And it's the added addition of the adding salt into the water, the seawater, which gives it that shiny edge uh, as far as RF uh, radio waves are concerned. If you send RF over plain ordinary water, so if you used to find a large body of water, it could be a swimming pool or it could be a freshwater lake, you will get some slight increase in RF distance, but this will be marginal. As soon as that water becomes salty, the resistance of that water drops dramatically. And I'm going to show you a little experiment to demonstrate that. In front of me, I've got a small plastic tub with a couple of labels, just so I'm going to test it at the same spot every time. And I'm measuring the resistance there using the little multimeter. And I'm going to measure the resistance between the two red pads. Currently, there is a small amount of tap water, fresh water in there. So let's see what type of readings we get. I shall apply the probes into the water, nice and firmly, and we're going to get a reading of approximately 35 kilo ohms, 36 kilo ohms. Make a note of that, 34, 35, 36 kilo ohms. Now, I'm going to add a, um, an amount of salt, my lovely salt little shaker. Give that a few seconds to dissolve. Now the salt's had a few minutes to dissolve, let's take another reading. Now we're getting a reading around 20, 20 kilo ohms, 19. So a lot less resistance than with just plain water, fresh water. So what does all this mean? Well, they say the proof is in the pudding. So let's look at some maps and uh, the plots of all the contacts I've had. So the first map of Google Earth is the uh, map from the Delta Loop home base over Europe. This shows the contacts I've had across Europe, 10 watts, potentially one skip, and uh, up to as far as Ukraine. Okay, the second map is uh, again, home, uh, home base, down to loop, uh, 10 watts going across the Atlantic, using that advantage of the salt water of the Atlantic, and getting into the north eastern tip of America, and just into uh, Canada as well. My 40 meter delta loop has some uh, gain on the 20 meter band in the general direction of 288 degrees from my location, as you can see in this plot. 
I have achieved numerous uh, contacts across America on the northeastern side and Canada, um, even when conditions have not been that brilliant. Again, the salt water has played a massive part in uh, allowing me to make these contacts. And uh, the final map will demonstrate and show the uh, distances achieved by uh, mobile, uh, quarter wave whip. Now that's either a Ampro or full size quarter wave whip on 20 meters uh, from the seafront going all the way across sea, uh, sea, uh, the sea, salt water. And as you can see, those signals are going out down to Central America and South America. This view shows the contacts from mobile going south down to the Canary Islands, across to Panama, Brazil and Uruguay. Zooming in a little closer, you can see how far these contacts went right across the Atlantic Ocean. A little bit of land there going across Brazil and into Uruguay. Distance from Hillhead down to Uruguay around 7,000 miles. So there you go, just the slight difference there in resistance between fresh water and salt water. Therefore, when you park close to the sea or any body of water containing salt, your RF radio waves go over the surface and reflect and bounce off and into the atmosphere and skip, just like stones or pebbles across the lake. Um, and I say, the, I've, you know, I've proved, I've demonstrated with my own radio equipment that I am getting up to four times, four and a bit times actually, further distance across water than I do across land. Even my signals getting across to America are aided by a large two and a half, three thousand mile stretch of Atlantic Ocean. And that's why I'm getting into America. Otherwise, my, if that was land and my signals would fall short, just or fall well short, they'd fall off the other side of the Irish coast there and go no further. But the salt water really aids the RF signals. And if, unfortunately, if you live in land somewhere in the Central America or in Central Russia, you, know, you may not be able to take a, advantage of the, of the salt water effect. But if you live by the coast, if you can go to the coast, drive to the coast, take your radios, give it a go, because you'll be amazed. First time I spoke to Panama from the, uh, my little hillhead location here on the south coast on 10 watts of power using an Ampro whip on top of the car, I was amazed. Um, yeah, that little antenna, a little small amount of power, uh, that's the bodywork of my car acting as the ground, and it was putting a signal and receiving a signal from a gentleman down in Panama. Absolutely fantastic. And so the other night there, I was down to Uruguay uh, and uh, Brazil, and you, you know, you, I was hearing stations coming in down to the south tip of Chile. So um, yeah, that's, that water makes a massive, massive difference.